Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a fan of thrills, chills, and all things Halloween, you're in for a treat. Today we're diving into one of the most anticipated events of the year, Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights. Buckle up as we explore all the scare houses, scare zones, and live shows that make this event an unmissable Halloween experience. First up, let's talk about the scare houses. Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights is known for its terrifying creative haunted houses, and this year, they're no exception. Each house has its own unique theme, guaranteed to send shivers down your spine. Let's take a look at what's in store. The first house on our list is Eternal Bloodlines. A historic all-female classic Universal Monsters house featuring Saskia Van Helsing, I hope I got that right, and the Bride of Frankenstein battling Dracula's daughter and her monstrous, monstrous mavens. Next, we have the museum, Deadly Exhibits. Explore a folkloric museum where the exhibit, The Rotting Stone, releases an ancient evil where every exhibit comes with a deadly history. And don't miss Major Sweet's Candy Factory. A seemingly sweet field trip turns terrifying as candy samples transform children into monstrous beings. A sweet turned sinister experience with the backstory involving murder and mayhem. Have your charms at the ready for Goblin's Feast. A fantastical house filled with orcs, trolls, elves, hobgoblins, and a witch. A chilling experience based Insidious the Further continues the Insidious franchise, where demons like the Red Face Demon and Key Face will try to ensnare visitors. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is a new Ghostbusters adventure where a bone-chilling specter, Garaka, has escaped, threatening to plunge the world into a second ice age. Next, we have A Quiet Place. Based on the movie franchise, this house challenges guests to stay silent to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where creatures hunt by sound. What happens when a party goes bad? The Triplets of Terror invites you to attend the Barmy Triplets Birthday Bash, which turns gory as they recreate their family's murders. Next, if we go south of the border, we'll find Monstros, the Monsters of Latin America. Featuring Latin American folklore creatures like La Chusa and El Salbon in a debut appearance. A HHN classic returns with Slaughter Cinema 2, a sequel to the fan favorite house promising more B movie horror madness. All right, let's move on to the scare zones. These outdoor areas are just as intense as the scare houses and offer a different kind of fright. They're filled with monstrous creatures and eerie atmosphere. Here's a rundown of this year's scare zones. The first scare zone is Enter the Blum House. As you walk through, you encounter the iconic scenes from Blum House productions, like Grabber from The Black Phone and Megan. It brings a cinematic horror experience to life as you navigate through this terrifying zone. It's a chilling experience from start to finish. Next, we have Torture Fair. Step into a dark twist on a Renaissance fair filled with medieval torture devices. This zone tests your bravery with its gruesome displays and fear-inducing atmosphere. Zombies rise from the murky waters of the Swamp of the Undead. Experience the haunting ambiance of a Louisiana swamp, creating a spine-chilling adventure as you dodge these undead creatures. It's sure to keep you on edge. 
Where will your fear take you? Duality of fear and the entrance of the event presents a choice between two paths. Sinister, which dives into the visceral horror, and surreal, which offers an unearthly terror. Both paths are ruled by fearsome queens and their loyal followers. Explore an otherworldly hellscape. Demon queens dominated by four merciless queens loyal to the terror of Surreal. This zone is filled with their fanatical followers, making it a daunting journey through darkness. Each scare zone brings its own unique flavor of fear, making the streets of Universal Orlando feel like a Halloween nightmare come to life. And now, let's not forget about the live show. The performances are an integral part of Halloween Horror Nights, offering thrilling and entertaining breaks from all the scares. Here's what's happening on stage this year. Nightmare Fuel Nocturnal Circus. This show continues to captivate audiences at the Fear Factor live stage with a mix of pyrotechnics and aureole stunts and optical illusions. This year, the show dives deeper into a dark circus theme, promising a more sinister and elaborate experience. It's also a more adult experience, and it's quite loud, so keep that in mind. And in Diagon Alley, we have the Dementors, so have your wands ready to protect yourself from these ghastly creatures. These live shows add an extra layer of excitement and entertainment to your Halloween Horror Nights experience. So there you have it, a complete rundown of Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights for this year. From spine-tingling scare houses and creepy scare zones to thrilling live shows, there's something to give every Halloween enthusiast a frightfully good time. If you're planning a visit, make sure to check out these attractions and prepare yourself for an unforgettable horror night. Thanks for joining us on this spooky adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content. And let us know in the comments, what are you most excited to see at Halloween Horror Nights 33? Until next time, stay spooky.